Hey what's up guys welcome to another tutorial of PHP for beginner series and in this video we will be talk about PHP data types. First of all we have string data type. First of all we will be talk about PHP string. A string is a sequence of characters like hello world. A string can be any text inside quotes. You can use single or double quotes. Here we have example of hello world. You can type the x variable stores hello world with double quotations and the y variable stores hello world with single quotations. Both are string and when I echo these values we will be see output. Here the br tag is used to line break. Line, what line break means? The upper hello world appearing one line and lower hello world I mean the value of y will be appeared in second line. So we have to open our control panel of XAM, start Apache and MySQL and here in the browser you have to type localhost forward slash cubic uh, when I be sorry we have to read control as save and when I refresh them you can see that hello world has been appeared so this was a string data type in PHP next we have data type is integer now what is integer data type an integer data type is non decimal number an integer must have at least one digit an integer must have a decimal point an integer must don't have a decimal point like 5.2 is not an integer and at last an integer can be either positive and negative so here is an integer value 5985 that is stored in x and next i will use the a function v variable dumb and i call here the variable x control as save and when i refresh the uh, our server you can see that int 5985 has been appeared so what variable def, uh, var underscore dump function does it returns the data type of a variable so it is a php built-in function next we have a floating point data type a float or floating point number is a number with a decimal point or a number in exponential form like i have 5.2 5.2 is a float floating point data type so when i can press ctrl s save and refresh our browser you can see the output that it is float 5.2 uh, next we have another data type is boolean a boolean have only two possible states even it is true and even it is false uh, it is used in conditional structure and uh, we will be use a boolean in the, our next tutorials now here let me show you about a php function which returns the length of a string here I type echo and I type here str string len. In between I type double quotations and type hello world. When I press ctrl as save and refresh our browser you will see the output that it returns the length of our string which is 12. Next we have another php function which returns the word in our string and here I type br for our line break and in the next line i will echo str underscore word count this function is used to count the words in a string and i type here hello word so these are two words when i press ctrl s save and refresh our browser you can see that in the next line there are two words in our string so these were the two functions in php now we will be learn about what are constant in php to define a constant in php i will use a function called define and in this here i call the name of that constant let i type here greetings g r w t e i n g s greetings and in the value section i will be, i will be give the value of a constant i type this is a constant and at the last i will print semicolon and here i will echo greetings so when i press ctrl s save and refresh our browser you can see that this is a constant has been appeared which is the value of greetings constant so what is different between constant and variable variables value can be changed during program execution i mean when you define a, a variable a and assigns a value like 5 to that variable and in the next line you can add a value in the a variable so th that value of variable can be changed but constant values cannot be changed once you define it its value would never be changed so this was the, a little bit difference between constant and a variable in php and i hope that you will must understand uh, these concepts and 
like this video and share this video with your those friends who want to learn php from zero to advanced level and if you have any question you can ask us in the comment section and or whatsapp us the number is given at the end of screen and finally thanks for watching